Hey everybody, my name is Keith Jordan. I'm a moderator on the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit Forum on TechNet. Today I want to walk through a sample ex failure in an MDT task sequence, specifically within Windows setup itself. Uh, during installation of MDT, we'll uh, take a sample unattended text file, populate it with the necessary values, and make Windows setup, or UBI, out-of-box experience process automated. But there are a couple of scenarios where the unattended t XML file can be modified or corrupted, and that breaks the uh, UBI setup. Uh, here we have an example of the setup process broke, and uh, what displays an error message on the screen. Windows could not parse or process the unattended answer file. And it gives a hint about where the file is located. It's in the Panther directory. Panther is the code name for the Windows setup logging system. And so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the Panther logs. And also gives us a hint that it should be an UBI system, uh, out of box experience system. Uh, I couldn't find uh, a particular component. So let's see what we can find here. Um, now within normal WinPE, we should be able to press F8 to get a command prompt. But since we're in Windows setup, it, the command is actually Shift F10. That'll open this up. Let's go to Panther. And here we have uh, some log files. Um, normally, when I start looking at log files within Windows Setup, I'll start with, off with the uh, setup um, act.log file. This is the activity log, the action log uh, for everything that gets processed in this domain. Uh, log file. There's also our unattended XML file here that we can start looking at and a couple other control files that we'll also look if that if we if we need to. But uh, for the most part let's do a notepad of setup act.log and if we were to look at this file one of the great things about setup is that it will contain uh, some text in here and let you know if it's an informational message or if it's a warning message. But if I was to scroll down to the bottom here, there's no errors. There's nothing here that would indicate an error. And uh, that's also indicated by the setup error log file. So all of the, the setup act activity will contain all of the regular log files, warnings, and errors. And setup error will contain just the error files. Um, so there's nothing in there. The next place I usually try to look at, and this is the, uh, in the unattended GC directory. Let's try looking there and see what we got. There's some activity here. Let's do notepad setup. Notepad setup dot activity. And sure enough, there are some errors here. Now, for those of you <laughs> who are probably wondering, hey, wait a minute, um, if there are errors here, why aren't there any errors in the setup.error.log file? And sure enough, if we were to type setup error.log, there are actually, there's actually content in there. If we do another directory listing, notice that now the size of the log file is actually 530. 37 bytes, where before we just saw it was zero. Uh, there are maybe some open handles by the setup process in the background, so don't trust the directory listings. Uh, go ahead and take a look and uh, open up the file just to be sure. Uh, uh, don't be discouraged if, the, if it doesn't look like there's anything in the directory listing. Uh, now we we'll scroll down to the bottom here. We can say, oop, user input error has uh, an unattended file. That's a good hint. What other error files? Uh, setting is not uh, defined in this component. So it does give us a, a couple of hints. Uh, as we saw before, it's in the unattended XML file. It's in the passive UBI system. And it's also in the section Microsoft Windows sh Shell Setup. We should be able to use those components. Uh, hopefully, there will be some more information. But and in this case, there isn't that much. It just says um, um, uh, that it's uh, uh, missing a particular uh, settings over uh, missing a particular settings. So let's go into the unattended sec file and see if we can find anything. Notepad unattend XML file. Uh, this was the um, pass of UBI system, and in the Microsoft Windows sh shell setup. Um, now, uh, I also know, uh, in this case, this is a 
good hint of where to get started looking. If you're unaware of what it is, maybe you went out and actually modified something and it's pretty obvious, oh yes, I mo went out into this section and made some modifications, you will know what to do. If you don't, go ahead and package up your unattended XML file and your panther logs, put them on a, a site like OneDrive and post a question to the forums, hey, what's going on here? Maybe we can help out. In this case, I happen to know that there is, we're missing a couple of entries in OOBE. Uh, there are some new requirements for Windows 8.1. That's what's failing in this case. Uh, there's uh, an, an updated uh, XML file and we just didn't include that. Uh, that's available in MDT. And it's a fact, I, a frequently asked question here. So that's an example of how to actually open up the logs, gather up the Panther logs. Remember, again, if you're having problems, go ahead and copy them to a USB drive and upload them to OneDrive, and we'll be happy to look at them. But hopefully you should get you started looking at Panther logs. Thanks.